Is the Miranda class, especially the USS Reliant as seen in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, actually a warship? In preparation for my upcoming Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan battle breakdown, I polled my audience about this question and I got all kinds of very good feedback. We'll get to the poll results in a bit. What is understood about Starfleet is that it's not quite a military organization and that although it builds starships capable of combat, Starfleet ships are not supposed to be warships. The only Starfleet ship in Star Trek canon that is said to be a dedicated combat ship was the USS Defiant seen in Star Trek Deep Space Nine. But based on the design features of the USS Reliant, a strong argument can be made that this is as close to a warship as you can get for Starfleet in the late 23rd century. But let's break it down. I would make the case that the motion picture Enterprise is not a warship by design. The most compelling case for this is that it comes with a botanical garden. What kind of warship would waste so much space for that? Also the hull shape of this Constitution class seems to lead itself to long range travel and warp speeds with the nacelle positioning and the prominent deflector dish. The Miranda class on the other hand is much more compact. Some people think it has less mass than the Constitution class, but that's not quite true. Since it doesn't have the prominent neck piece that connects the saucer to the engineering hull, it appears to be smaller, but my fellow spaceship YouTuber E.C. Henry already did a video about this, and the Reliant has at least as much hull mass as the Enterprise. This hull design would also be able to take hits that result in less catastrophic damage compared to the Constitution class, which has longer nacelle pylons, and the neck section that connects the saucer to the lower hull, this is a much less structurally stable design. Also, when damage is taken, the Reliant doesn't have to worry about getting things like damage control teams or medical teams from one section of the ship to the other, like through this ridiculously narrow neck on the Enterprise. It means that travel throughout the ship on the Reliant is a lot easier. And then we come to weapons. Like the Enterprise, the Reliant has six dual phaser banks on the saucer, and the Enterprise has a few more of these on the secondary hull. But the Reliant has these two large phaser nozzles on the warp nacelle pylons. These seem to be massive for weapons. They also seem to be able to direct the phaser blast in something of a wide arc from the tips of the nozzles, probably using magnetic fields. The cannons seem to look exactly the same on the forward and aft portion which mean these things can probably fire both forward and aft. I've heard it theorized that the cannons actually tap into warp plasma that is powering the warp nacelles for greater firepower. On the dorsal roll bar section are the torpedo launchers. This includes two forward and two aft torpedo tubes, which is two more than the refit constitution class has. Are the torpedoes she fires equal and yield to other starships? Well, we don't know, but it certainly has superior torpedo firing arcs. All of the above is a case for the USS Reliant itself being a warship. But we're not done yet. Let's look at some Apocrypha and other on-screen Star Trek canon before making a conclusion. The original blueprints for the Reliant designated this ship as an Avenger class. That sounds very aggressive and it doesn't really sound like Starfleet but it does indicate the intent behind this ship design. Those blueprints also described killer bee type fighters. But here are some cases against the Reliant being a dedicated warship. The novelized version of the Wrath of Khan describes the Reliant as an old bucket, indicating this is not a top of the line warship. But books and blueprints aren't as strong as on-screen indicators when it comes to canon. When we fast forward to Star Trek The Next Generation, we see all manner of Miranda class ships and one of them, USS Landry, in the episode Unnatural Selection, is designated as a Class 6 supply vessel. What? This is probably a case where they needed a ship, so they grabbed a Miranda class model and put it to work. No doubt, if they had a model that looked more like a transport ship, they probably would have used that. Here's the deal, though. Clearly, the Miranda class basic hull can be modified quite a bit. With this being the basic hull of a Miranda class without torpedo launchers or mega pulse phasers, this right here strikes me as a multi-role light cruiser or support cruiser. Other configurations of this hull may include something like a big sensor array on the dorsal roll bar, maybe a big navigational deflector for more efficient warp travel, or the pulse phaser cannons and torpedo launchers like we see on the Reliant. Now some of you who commented on the poll pointed out that the Reliant was on a research mission in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, so therefore why isn't it more of a research vessel? 
While other than it being so heavily armed, it is implied that the Reliant would be the ship to test the highly classified Genesis device to terraform a planet, a device that can be extremely dangerous in the wrong hands, therefore a ship like the Reliant, which isn't especially high profile but well armed enough to deal with most threats, is the perfect choice for handling that mission. Also, this is during a time when the Romulans and Klingons were both in a kind of cold war with the Federation. No doubt Starfleet was on the alert to deal with such threats. And here are the poll results. About 63% said yes, the Reliant is more of a warship, and 37% said no, the Reliant is not more of a warship. So I would say the Miranda class itself is designed as a multi-role cruiser. However, it can be configured in a number of different ways, including a warship and the Reliant specifically was definitely designed with a tactical configuration with combat in mind. Therefore, it is kind of more of a warship than not, but just enough not to still maintain Starfleet's idea that, oh, we don't build warships. Thank you so much for watching Space Friends. Please say in the comments if you think the Reliant itself is more of a warship or perhaps a warship modification of the base Miranda class. Just tell me what you think. Also, I am looking to sort of hopefully expand the Resurrected Starships community and brand. I have a couple of good sponsors coming up I think that you'll like, but if you would prefer me not to use sponsors, please remember to support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash resurrected where you can watch this video ad free. Um, and I'm also kind of looking into maybe getting some 3D prints already printed to sell, although I do sell 3D printable models on both my Patreon for patrons that can get it for a simple subscription, and also my CG Trader store, which is linked in the description as well. But I'm looking at maybe expanding this to physical stuff that you can get, perhaps on Etsy and things like that. So I'd love to hear your, your guys' thoughts on that as well. Again, thanks a lot for all the patrons who are already supporting me on Patreon, and for all the feedback on the poll. Believe me, you guys are really smart about this stuff, and I really use that to uh, help me make this channel better. Until next time, space friends.